Also, there's a deer in the chair. Oh, I broke its neck. I'll try to put the head back on. Oh, I, now it's fully off. Ah. Uh, eh. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. Oh, okay. They look happy. Mom don't be sick. They have a present for me. I wonder. Aww, it's a cat. So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Edgar. It's Mr. Midnight. Aww. My best friend. My only friend. We're having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. Aw, look at the little cat licking the milk bowl. <laughs> We're having so much fun. The music's kind of changing. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. A strange creature outside my window. <gasps> it's Morgo again. I don't like it. It scares me. Oh no. Suddenly I hear something. It's mom screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Mommy? Daddy? That's a satanic ritual. Um... Okay. So we've fled into... Fran has fled into the woods with Mr. Midnight. This is... This, this got dark real fast. Aw, Mr. Min... Wait. Oh, no. Did she die? Is that technically the Grim Reaper? Oh! <gasps> Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Oh. Okay, we're in a... This is not what I expected. So we're in like a, a psych ward now? Three. Fran, how do you feel? I feel like dying. I'm fine, I guess. I'm gonna say I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. I want to find the killer. I want to go home. Uh, I want to find the killer. I really want to know who killed my parents. The police are working on it. I'll find my cat and the killer. Yeah, where's our cat? I want Mr. Midnight. Your cat is missing. It will be impossible to get him back. But now I have something for you, Fran. What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. Oh, that little purse, maybe? It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Why am I not staying with my Aunt Grace? Why am I put in this psych ward? I mean, I guess my parents died, but like still, normally you go with family. Okay, they want me to touch it. This was my mother's purse. Open it. There's something inside. Use Aunt Grace's letter. I should examine it. Oh, I have to drag it down. Okay. 
dearest friend, here in the purse you like so much is, why did I, where did I get in from? I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She's worried about you. Aunt Grace. Well, that's another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about it, about her. She's fine. Can I leave now? Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave. But before you do, it's time for your new medicine. Wait, 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 so you're telling me my parent, my parents have died. They put me in a psych ward immediately and they're just throwing me on medication. There is so much sketchy shit going on here. I don't trust Dr. Man either. That, 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 is, that is suspicious as fuck. Also, why did a cloaked figure pick me up? It's called Duotine uh, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. What medicine? Anything new today, Dr. Dern? Dern? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, Fran, take your medicine. Can I not take it? Can I choose to not? I don't feel good. Oh no, take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her ever take this ever again. What the fuck? Hi Steven, how are you? I don't know if it's Morgo or a different one. Beware, friend Bo. I feel like I should be leaving. If you leave the house, you'll turn to madness. Fran, wake up! The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. Mr. Midnight's waiting for us. I love you. Aw. Aw, our cat, he's waiting. The real voice reveal. I know, I was I couldn't tell if I was on the right filter or not there. Chapter one, my sober day. Yeah, this doesn't sound like a great idea. Our cat, our cat wants us to take the medicine that's making us tread and also to leave. But like the demon also wants us to leave. So ooh, interesting. Okay. I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. All right. Locked. Uh, good reason to be curious. I will get your nose. I'll get it. Okay, Fran Bo Dagenhart, 10 years old. History, the patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. Details omitted, treatment, Dr. Marcel Dern has tried different medications and all have been canceled because of side effects. I, I don't think it's a coincidence that his name is Dern. We're seeing that, that fucking skull motherfucker kind of had, I mean, kind of deer antler goat shit, dude. Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. I will find you, Mr. Midnight, I promise. I hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Oh, just, oh sweet. Sweet melody. Uh, what's this way? Oh, there's a whole other kid over here. Can I steal a shit? Nice. A tiny little key. Okay, so I've stolen I've stolen his key. I'm gonna assume that goes to my nightstand. Hey man. Hello, Phil. Hello. How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. They're just stupid. They always say that. They're just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. Oh, I'll try and find my kitty by. No, let's see if we can get his help. Um, I will if you help me. 
The only thing I know is that the office is the key. There's a key inside. The key? Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code to open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Him. Leave me alone. I hate you. What the fuck? I was like stun locked. I, I forgot I was voice acting for a second. Ga it's got to be Morgo. It's got to be Morgo again. Because he's talking about his games. Oh my God. Mommy, daddy, I need you so much right now. But Morgo looked a little different, didn't he? Hold on. Now I want to look up a picture. Morgo, little misfortune. Yeah, Morgo looked a little different in Little Misfortune. He had um he had more moose antlers. But we know if it's in the same so here's the thing. If it's in the same realm like we kind of know that it is, I am going to assume it's probably one from the same cuz it when we were reading the lore in Little Misfortune, um it, it essentially had a bunch of stuff on there that was saying like a bunch of those guys escaped so i'm assuming it's probably not morgo but a similar demon probably yeah that's it yeah probably a different demon yeah 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 um the timeline is also is, is different here yeah 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 morgo is actually from a different universe too gotcha i can't play with you now i'm on a very secret mission what's going on with the bear i hope somebody loves you let's read his chart Fillmore Bronstone. He's eight years old. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. You're Arbiter. Right. It's probably less stop. I get it. Instead of more go, it's less stop. Ha ha. <laughs> um, the boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Treatment. Daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dearn. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Mm. Wait, what year... 1944? Okay, that's why we got thrown in an asylum. Oh, wouldn't, Mr. Horse. Are you having a good time? Back and forth. The trip of our lives. Yeehaw. Okay. If I sit down, I'll eventually have to get up. So what's the point? Um, Let's see if this key opens the nightstand. Nice. Okay. I'm glad the mechanics are pretty easy to understand. Yes, I got it. There's something inside. Uh, aw, it's a picture of our family. Look at me through midnight. Oh, my dear family, I will guard this with my life. I miss you so much. I really need you here with me. I'll find my kitty and then go to you, Aunt Grace. I know Aunt Grace will take good care of me and Mr. Midnight. I wish my parents were alive. Oh, wait, I had, there was something else, though. I have a hairpin. My hair clip, it would make, uh, I should make good use of it. Okay, I'm assuming maybe we can use that to like pick something. What's back here? Nice, I fucking knocked the- can I open the window? Can I leave? Okay, so there's a, a guard tower. Tower defense, or is it defense tower? I guess it, that is my way out. Interesting. I like her reflection. I don't think my head would fit through the window. Oh, so it's actually just an open window. Okay. Um, can I take up this hook? Nice. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. A golden hook that fell from the curtains. Okay. Okay. My legs are just fine. Can I snoop in the cabinet even though she's right here? Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels, empty bottles. Okay. Can I take... Oh, I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. I guess the nurse won't ever let me touch anything. Can we talk to her? Oh, friend, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days? Maybe. Was it the mess? Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it again. Nurse lady, I did something. See, you're nothing but trouble. What is it? Oh, I can lure her away, maybe? I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Accidentally, pff, I have to fix this, follow me. I'm not gonna follow you, I wanna see what you're writing. 
I'm curious. Wait, can I not? Oh, come on, dude. She would go crazy if I touch anything. But she left. Okay, I guess I have to follow her. Not how I thought this was going to go. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? What's a hook? Uh, what's a hook? Well, I have to go find something to fix this. You little girl. She was going to call me a little shit. Oh, shit. Is she going to open that? I wonder if that door was unlocked before. Oh, there's a whole playground down there. Ah, oh, the playground. Um, I like the bunny swing thingy. It makes me dizzy. Can I check this window? It's all boarded up. That's not so easy to see. It's interesting. Play stupid. Not that stupid. Just random. <laughs> she wants a hook, right? I know. I was like, ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Of course it's locked. Do I have to pick it with the bobby pin? But she just went out that door, didn't she? Did you find the doctor's code yet? It's in the office. Okay, I'm guessing I have to use my... It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Maybe I combine them? Things not working makes me angry. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. Let me click on it this time. Oh, I guess maybe she had to fully leave. That probably was why. Um, okay, I'll keep this. Uh, these patches stop bleeding. That's a good idea. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits um, in some abilities, such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, and making decisions. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Um, and then a drawing of the brain. Oh, God. Okay, this is going to be hard to read. It's kind of sloppy cursive. The patient has little sleeping almost all all the time has lower sleeping has been sleeping all the time ben i think sleeping all the time she only wakes up to drink water um but i don't think she remembers that after drinking she goes to sleep again she hasn't been s she hasn't been social uh for three days now some kind uh some kids have come around and I can't tell what that word is um, about uh, and at, probably asked and asked about her and when see when when she would come out and play. OK, uh, and then. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And then, huh, I wonder if like we'll have to keep that in mind for code stuff, potentially. I find it interesting that eight and the H is circled hide i think this is where the medicine is but it's locked okay so eight okay so that's pro do you see that there's a fucking revolver in this cabinet why would the nurse have this she wants to kill us all i'll leave it as it was i really need to get out yeah okay okay all right so we saw let me see if i can open this so that's why it was probably circled because eight oopsies eight H I so nine, um, A B C D that's four, and then E is five. Nice. We found the red pills. Kitty told me these would help. Okay, so now I have red pills in my inventory here. Oh lordy. Okay, this is. Do I take them right now? Oh god, I did. Okay. Hi. Get out, creepy creature. What are you? Watch your step. I want to see if outside has changed. No, it looks this. You got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? What's this? <gasps> Excuse me. Wait, I'm able to pick up items from the realm I'm tripping in? Uh, what? I wonder if I combine this with the... Okay, nice. Okay, so I can now get out of the door. It was not me. There's a basement? Wait, does this still sound the same? There's someone in the window. Oh, that's 
comforting. That's quite comforting. They're holding my head. Oh, is that my head? Wow. Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. Huh. That's, that's, that's comforting. Where did the clown go? Oh, don't tell me the clown's on the loose now. Who did it? I don't feel like I should be going down here. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. She can't keep me away from her. You can't keep me away from her. Oh, our aunt is trying to get us. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition isn't stable yet. You don't understand her. She's a very special girl. Uh, now there's a dead fox on the bed? The doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Oh no, Foxy. Foxy, don't cry. Okay. The drawer's empty. Has this changed? Okay, blood. Find him. Okay. Oh god, how's Phil about to be? I find it interesting these spirits are sitting where everybody in the hospital has been or the asylum. Also, there's a deer in the chair. Oh, I broke its neck. I'll try to put the head back on. Oh, I, now it's fully off. Ah. Uh, what are you looking at me like that? You're terrifying me. What is that black thing sitting next to you? He's telling you things. Can you hear it? Why are you looking at me like that? Okay. All right, let's see if we can leave now. This is creepier than I expected. Uh, I, okay, so there's two doors open right now. The king likes drawing. <laughs> okay, um, Mr. Midnight? You're my beloved friend, bip bip. If you want to hug me, try and catch me. If you can't catch me, it's because you haven't found me. You're my beloved friend. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. Where did I come out from? Okay. I... Um... I don't want to touch it. This is the clown from the painting. Oh! He's dead in the, in the toy basket. Okay. Why is this rocking? Snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair. And your booty will be flat like your face. <laughs> snuggle, snuggle the old lady's rhythm. Okay, what's going on here? Why do you look like a rag doll? You should blame yourself. Be quiet. What have they done to you? Please, somebody tell me something. Okay. Even the purest of things die in this place. Is that supposed to be flowers? Can I not open that? Okay, I guess not. You can see. Her name's uh, Adelaida Fun Fungence. Fugence. The patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person, which almost killed her. This event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Treatment, Dr. Marcel Dearn has become close to the patient through drawings, therapy. She is making progress. Aw. Tiny, tiny hands all over you, eating your soul. Uh, okay, I'm going to try the stairs now. What? This wasn't here before. I wonder if, is there a way to stop tripping? Wait, so I just toggle the pills? I thought I was, okay, interesting. Okay, so the bathroom looks normal here. 
I didn't realize that anyone could see me pooping. Gross. I can and will hold it. The throne is empty. Okay, now I want to go check this room. Okay, the clown is back in his picture. Oh, let me see. A red puppet and a serpent. A teddy bear and many other things. There's the flowers. Real flowers. They smell so sweet. The drawer's empty. Okay, let's talk to her. Hello. You see them. You do, right? What? See what? The creatures that follow everyone. The shadows? You mean the shadows? Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they're there. You know what they are? Do you know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Tell me, please. Well, tell me, please. You like to draw? I love to draw. Maybe she'll draw us a picture of what they are? I love it, too. But tell me more about the shadows. Crayon, a crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. What are you drawing? Something. That's specific. What is it? My dreams. Go, now. That's mine. My crayons. Can I have it? I just like this green crayon so much. Can I have it? No, I won't be able to draw green then. That's ridiculous. <laughs> now I really want to take this crayon. But you have so many. Oh, that's true. But you have so many other colors. Yes, many colors. But you don't know. But you know, they don't like me drawing. Who? The nurses, they tie me up. And when I want to draw, I can't. Me too sometimes. Yeah, they tie me up sometimes too. It hurts. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. Then comes the red milk. Look. Oh. Yeah, that... I had a feeling it was going there. Um... Please cure me. Yes, and stop the red milk. I'll see what I can do. Maybe we give her the bandage? <gasps> nice! I came prepared. Oh, thank you. You can have the crayon. Now go. I have to draw. <gasps> yes, I got the fucking crayon. Look at me go. Dude, I'm doing better than I do with most puzzle games right now. These are pretty straightforward. Yes. My favorite green crayon. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with the green crayon, but... This bed is very pink. All right, let's go downstairs. Huh, there you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. You left it, opened it with my key. She can't know about our key. You left it open, but you left it open. I'm sure it wasn't open. I know because I locked it. How did I get out then? It was open. Hmm, don't try to trick me. Go back to your room and wait for the doctor. I can't let her take my shit. Ugh, I have no time for this. I have to find my way out. Fuck, wait, did she take it? Is she over here again? If we just grab the gun, we can shoot the nurse. <laughs> and, then, and then we don't have to worry about her stopping us. Did you break out of your room? That's not nice, Fran. I haven't eaten in days. My kitty told me to leave. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna say. But I'm hungry, sir. I haven't eaten in days. I won't listen to any of your excuses, young lady. I'm not, let me go get, eat something. I'm not making up excuses. Doctor, sir, please just let me out to eat something. You have to learn how to listen to, to those in charge. Of course, sir, lesson learned. Just don't do it again, Fran. Go and eat now. Then get back to bed. Okay. All right, we're gonna go get food. I like, how come they leave her door open all the time? Crayon, I draw, I draw with crayon. Okay, so she probably doesn't have anything else to say. Yeah, okay. Let's see if anything's changed with the bathroom. Nope, looks the same. Okay, let's go downstairs. The gate is very locked. Oh, there's a fire alarm up there. I think that's what that is. Who's this guy? 
Sir, the key hanging up there. Can I have it? Sure, I could give you the key if you give me a kiss. You should kiss your butt. What a bastard. You can kiss your butt. Oh my god. Ew. Hey, get your hands off the office door. Okay, so that's the office door. Oh my god. Can I touch the phone? If you call emergency, I don't think you would help me. Hello? Are you all right? What is that supposed to mean? I wanted to know. I just wanted to know if you're feeling okay. I don't want to tell. The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all my thoughts. He ate your brain? He'll eat yours too. I saw you inside the doctor's office. You were dead. So we are dead. We're a Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, no. Then I have to go. I hope you find new thoughts. Bye. Oh, fuck. Oh, what the fuck is going on in here? Okay. Who are you? Isabel. She won't wake up. Oh, I guess that means she's heavily sedated or dead. What's he dropping on the floor? Don't touch that. You'll die if you do. Waves. They don't work. Why isn't it working? The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. Okay. Do you want this one? Still not working. Paper vision negative. Change again. Okay. We're losing the waves. Change the channel. Human testing approved. Still not. Okay. Uh, we're losing the waves. It works, it works, it's a miracle. Thank you, paper vision positive. I have I have a feeling we're gonna be able to see the TV if I take the pills. That's why I checked every channel, because I'm like, I think he's seeing something we're not. Oh, great, great, can I see? No, this is mine. If you want, you can take the papers that didn't work. Wouldn't that kill me? You, thank you, but you told me that would kill me. I never said that, you liar, I'm busy. Paper vision, revision in action. I'm going to take pills. Um, his head's gone. His head just got, okay. Okay. So it does look the same on every channel. Look at me, I say you're beautiful while I give you poison to eat. Oh no, they what, they did it all wrong. They cut your head into little pieces. Please take me out of here, please take me out of here. Uh, and she's a skull. Wake up, Isabel, the black shadow is touching you. It says you're going to die soon. Are you afraid of death? I hope not because it might happen even if you don't like it. Good night, shiny toy. Okay. Can I take it? Okay, his head's still there. Okay, he let me... Oh! Uh, maybe I can... I don't know what to draw right now. Okay. So I can't combine anything yet. Wait, he's got paper on the TV itself. What the fuck? <laughs> I just realized that. Okay. The action men. Could either of them help me find my kitty? The soldier lost his leg in the war. And the cowboy ate the princess. Little paper boat, take me to the sea and beyond. I wonder if this paper boat can sail. Because if it sinks, I could drown because I can't swim. Okay. I wonder how different this place looks on medicine. Are we ready? Nom, nom, nom. I will laugh at you. Guys, there's a, there's a bear crawling. Teddy, what are you doing here? Are you on your way to meet another Teddy? Say hello for me when you get there. I will lie to you. I will hide you inside the shadows. I will laugh at you. Okay. Interesting. What's in here? 
Um, a nurse and Jason, circa 1944, I guess. Is he picking at his toes? Hello. Oh, hello, Fran. How are you today? I don't want to tell them. I'm fine. Glad to hear you're well. Carry on now. Open the yellow door. Nurse, could you open the yellow door? That's not very appropriate to ask. I think you should go to your room now. Oh, so sorry, miss. Um, I didn't mean to say anything inappropriate. Very well, friend. Go play with your friends now. They're on to me. I wonder if that pasta was cooked today. Not by the looks of it. The salad looks fresh for once. Milky milk. I guess this carton is all sour like always. A little lemonade. Oh, I got a cookie. I got a Cinnabon. Nice. That reminds me of pretzels upstairs. Um, what have we done here? Chocolate, yummy. Okay, teddy bear. A sofa uh, made to be sat on. Mommy loved to paint roses. Can I turn this on? The signal's weird. It must be because we're so far away from everything. I don't really understand what they're saying. Can I mess with the clock? The grandfather clock is so big and grand. I don't like this painting. It feels like Mr. Oswald is staring at me. Mr. Midnight, are you in here? Okay, let's talk to the kid. Hello, are you new here? I haven't seen you before. No. Are you from downstairs? Uh-huh, they think I'm better now. What's your name? Would you please kill me? Please. Sure. Bang, you're dead. Thank you. I can't talk now, I'm dead. <laughs> what the? Thank you, I can okay. All right, I'm gonna take the pills. Okay. They hide you because they love you. They harm you because they hate you. Oh, little boy, everyone is ashamed of you. Aw. Uh, oh no, the nurse lady died. I wonder who did this. It wasn't me. She smells really bad. I feel like the smell is all over me. Okay, back to the hallway. Um, I wonder what this room looks like now. Reach the key. Huh? Sticky, bloody parts. I don't want to touch it. Mr. Pig has no wings to fly with. No flying Mr. Pig here for you to see. Mr. Pig is naked. Ew, crunchy pig's head ready to be served. I wonder who would eat this. I think my kitty would be afraid. It says reach the, reach the key. What's over here look like? interesting oh the clock sounds odd it feels like it's whispering right in my ear hmm i can't understand what it's saying hello up there miss your dress it's very pretty my mother had a very pretty dress too can i mess with this a bleeding clock it's like time is broken and stopped i find clocks a bit depressing It said reach for the... Do I just need to grab the key? Even though he's here? An arm extension would be nice. Okay, well... So maybe I need to find something to attach that to? Is there... A, is this... Nice! Okay, so maybe I can combine this with the... Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Look at me go! I thought I was trying to get that pole. I thought I was going to take the whole thing. Wait, what's the elephant? Elephant, sir, you are very pink and soft. It's like you've been training for the circus and your tummy is filled with love. Okay. Uh, let's... Dude, he is so gonna... I'm not sure what to do with this. Wait, can I not grab it? An arm extension would be nice. I don't want this. I'm not hungry. Don't disturb me. Go away. I'm eating. Oh, 
okay. Fuck him. Annie loves to drink milk like a kitten. Sadly, she's not my cat. I'm going to miss her. I guess she won't remember me. Wait, Kane. Don't touch my sword. Uh, I didn't know it was yours. You should bow and speak clearly to me. I am your king. Oh, is that what they were talking about in the sh bathroom? I, oh, I bow to you, sir. Very well, my child. What is the purpose of your visit? I want your walking cane. What walking cane? Do you mean my sword? Yes, your highness. Your sword. What would you give me in exchange? Anything you need, your highness. Bring me a castle and a horse. A castle and a horse. Only then will I grant you my sword. A castle and a horse? Maybe I can draw it now? Yes! Okay. So now I give this to him. Oh, that's beautiful. Exactly what I dreamt of. You can take my sword now. It's yours. Nice. Cool. Okay, so now I probably can combine. Yes, dude. I don't have to kiss the pervert. <laughs> or the pedophile. I mean, he's both, but. I guess if Damien eats the pasta, it can't be that bad. Pasta sounds so good right now. Wait, I want to see what it looks like with the pills. Also, the girl is wandering away. The holy man took all of your clothes off. Oh, how petty all the roses. Pretty all the roses are, right? Your mom, he doesn't believe you? They are dead. Please tell me if you can hear me. Why do you have this creature next to you? He's staring at you. Maybe he wants to eat you. Okay. Um. Oh, she's sitting on the couch now, but I don't. She doesn't have a shadow following her. Hey, Annie, how are you? Aren't you afraid of me? No, why would I? because I can do magic tricks and make you sleepy. Maybe she can make the pedophile sleepy. <gasps> I didn't know you could. Magic tricks? I didn't know you could. Show me, show you, but it's scary. It's better if you do it. I'm not a magician. I can't, I'm not a magician. I can give you the magical stuff. <gasps> does she, does this girl have fucking drugs? Really? Woo! Yes, the magical stuff that makes everyone fall asleep. It can make anyone fall asleep. That, oh, that's amazing. Powerful and grand. Here, it's a gift. Take it. Slowly. <gasps> yep. That shit looked like Tylenol or ibuprofen <laughs> colors. How does it work? I have no idea. You, you use it. Okay. Where is she going now? She's going out into the hallway. Okay. I wonder if it looks any different while she's... Nope. Okay. Maybe she's going back upstairs? Hmm, let's follow her for now. I feel like we need to make a drink for him. Maybe, maybe I can grab a drink from the cafe because there's no way that I can just like give him the sleeping pill. No. Ooh, what if I combine it with the, this? Okay, okay, we're gonna go give him the sleepy Cinnabon. Oh my God, it's happening. I'm not sure what to do. Wait, what? I really can't. I can't just give him the pastry. It can't be done. Okay, well, I'm just going to try and grab it then. Hey, 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 give me that. You can't take that key. Oh, no. It's my grab o -matic. It wor But I worked hard on it. It's my grab o -matic. Give it back. Shut up. You don't make the rules. I do. This toy of yours will stay with me from now on. You bastard, I'll get it back. I will. Do whatever you want. I'll never leave this chair. Maybe now I can give it to him? Yes! I brought this cake for you. 
I don't want any trouble, so I brought this cake for you. I'm not interested in taking anything that comes from you. It'll make your life... Please take it. It'll make your, make your life a bit sweeter. I don't care about making my life sweeter. Now leave. You don't want it? No. Now leave me alone. Motherfucker. Fuck. Shit. That's a problem. So he's got my cane. Fuck. Okay, let's see where she goes. Oh, it's so interesting, Disaster. I'm really enjoying it so far. She's in our room. And where are you going, Alice? Is she just wandering now? Just let me shoot the pedophile. Let me chew them. Okay, maybe nothing significant is going on with her. Maybe I need to give it to Alice? No. Did anything change in here? Hmm. I'm gonna try taking the medicine. Let's see if anything changed. I feel like I had to fuck up the grab matic but I don't know. Can I give it to this thing? No. Oh, hey. I told Marcel about the latest delivery, but he hasn't looked at it yet. Well, he'll catch up soon. Hey, Gladys, could you do me a favor? Sure, anything, but bring coffee to the guard. Fuck. Why not? I can't do it because I have to take care of the children. I have other things to do myself. Sorry. I knew it. Fuck. I wasted it. Okay. No, shit. Uh, let's see if I can combine it. Uh, things uh, not working makes me angry. Fuck! I knew I should have waited. Fuck. We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring him coffee. Maybe he'll want it after. Here's your hot, hot, hot coffee, sir. Oh! <gasps> 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 Look what you did, you insane orphan bitch. You did that on purpose. Now I have to go change. Ugh, it burns like hell. Don't go anywhere, you little shit. He's going to the bathroom. Okay, grab my grab matic And now I'm gonna grab the keys. Okay. And now I can go in here. Okay. Oh, I'd love to open the mail, but this isn't for me. All right, Mental Health Global Week. New testing. Got some drawings and shit. Oh, that's that's comforting. A satanic little scribble on there. I don't really know what this is. Books look the same. I hate this bed. The yellow typewriter. I could write a letter to Aunt Grace. Dear Aunt Grace, get me out of here, please. Vision, taste, hearing. Uh, ooh, key. Nice. Does it got like, it looks like it has gum on it. Let's see what it looks like now with the pills. Nom, 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 nom. Even though your eyes are open, you can't understand. Even though your eyes are bleeding, you can't feel. Don't hide what hurts, let it hurt you. Oh, that dead girl looks a bit like me. Well, I'm sedated and I see weird stuff, so I'm not dead. I can breathe and talk and do all the things a living person does. Okay, nothing's changed on the wall. That looks like it says code on it, but I can't fucking tell what that is below it. It could have something, maybe the dates, 24, 8, 12. Maybe that's something I need to remember. I feel like there's gotta be something more with this room though, but we'll see. Okay, let's use the key. Let's get in here. Oh. Huh? Okay, so that doesn't, what else is locked? Um, Dr. Marcel, turn off the alarm from the security system panel in the reception. The yellow door will remain open for two minutes until the alarm reactivates. 
alarm code equals December 17th. This looks this looks like a double, potential double digit. July 15th equals blank. Okay. Oh, I've seen this before. What does it mean? Okay. So I've got a code for some for the door now. Oh, Phil? A forgotten girl with no family or cat will die when the moon arrives. What do you mean? Phil, you Fucko! Oh, oopsies, I clicked out. This little shit. Good thing I got... The key doesn't work. Are you... Oh, maybe now I can vent. I don't really know what this is. Here it comes out. No? Okay, maybe if... Can I not... That thing, that looks like I should be able to use it. I shouldn't scream if they find me in here, I'm in trouble. Where did I, how come my, the key doesn't work, huh? Now it matches, cause I'm locked. Oh, oh, this time it opened, okay. Here we go. Oh, the key, oh, the wind hole. I guess it's my way back. I wonder if Phil knew about this. Something drops, I swear to. And that rat really hits his head. I should give it, give it a helmet. I'll just keep going and going. Uh, we, we, how are you gonna climb over this? Oh, uh, I guess we're gonna fall. Okay. <laughs> Feels a little shit, dude. Okay, now I'm in the maintenance office. The janitor's room. Oh dear, where am I now? Uh, a mop. Okay, can I take any of the cleaning supplies? Sponges, washcloths, thousands of chemicals. I don't think I need anything. No water to wash my hands. Okay, we found a box. Let me see. Oh, we've got more pills. Okay. The patient 2506200915000 is our current target. Target response is positive. Now expanding the triggered gland. Ectoplat... Uh, ecto ectoplamentin dose up to 1700 mcg change the container so it looks like an approved variant of duotine what child who wrote this chat remember those numbers because i'm gonna go back and look at all their profiles yellow pills huh they look more than fun than the red ones scraped label models empty hope bed pills i'll just take them to find my kitty hmm Two five zero six two zero zero. Interesting. I feel like that's probably us. Okay, maybe surely this key. Oh, nice. Uh oh. Dear Kitty, we'll be together again soon, I promise. I miss you, my dear. I miss you so much. Why are you leaving? Please don't leave me alone, Mr. Midnight. Okay, Mr. Midnight is in the maze now. We're going to the maze. At the end of the maze, Fran! Oh, shit. Okay, so I'm back in here now. I fainted again. I wonder if my dreams are true. The monster won't let me go home. But if I find the maze, maybe I can find Mr. Midnight. Okay, let's go in here now. Okay, so we're on the lower levels. What's in here? Oh. Oh, no. Poor girls. I hope they get well soon. I hope I never end up like that. Oh, man. I won't ever let leave the sick place and find Mr. Midnight. What's in here? Oh, that... That doesn't look good. Hello, are you resting? 
Did you puke? That's disgusting. I hope you get well soon. I'm gonna take the pills. Nom 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 nom. blame those who are ignorant but you can't let ignorance decide life will teach you even though pain even through pain and tears my path to life has been denied i haven't been born but i was alive i'm waiting for mother to love me it word it word ed edward Edward. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> it. It. Word. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, clown horse was interesting. Okay, so the operating room. I don't want to go inside. Yeah, it, it looks very unsanitary. There's a saw and everything. It smells like fl rotten flesh. All right, nom nom pill time. Let's see what it looks like. Who is that? Sir, wake up. Okay. Upstairs we go. Oh, fuck. She can't see me. Yes, I took the new one upstairs. Fran Bo? No, I haven't seen her. What? The key to the cellar? Well, no. And the doctor's office? He used to keep the key there. Calm down. The key isn't here. Sure, I'll let you know if it turns up, but you must calm down. Yes, I'll bring it to you if I find it, all right? Bye. Okay, so I probably need to bait her with the key. Um, I don't want her to see me at the end of the maze. Okay, if I do it now, she probably won't see me. Hopefully that's the workaround. I'm going to put it on the key rack at the end of the maze, kitty. Okay, so now I'm going to... Okay. Oh, the key was here after all. I better take it back. Nice. I can't remember Aunt Grace's phone number. I'll just surprise her when I get home. Oh, a love letter. Dear Pete. Ugh, gross. Many folders. Old coffee. Okay, let's go out here. <gasps> oh, shit. Uh, please enter. Oh, shit. I have to know the... Okay, what's her face isn't here anymore. It's open for two seconds if it goes off. But I have to know... Shit. So it's on here. Maybe it's 17 and 25? No. Okay, so it's a three-digit... December 17th equals, it almost looks like maybe it's a seven and a four, but like, what the fuck else would they be? No, maybe it is four. Uh, let's take the medicine again and see. At the end of the maze. Okay, I didn't realize we were in plan power boat. So 20, 29 and, oh God, 32. Okay, there we go. Holy shit. That was really obscure. That was really fucking obscure. I appreciate the help on that. All right, we're going outside. Oh fuck, wait, the alarm should stop though, right? Oh, fuck. You little bitch. I'll make you pay for what you did. Oh, oh, oh. You clever little boy. Do you think you can just leave? What? It can't be. No! Mr. Midnight! Mr. Midnight saved us! I need to go to the maze. 
Wait for me, Mr. Midnight! Oh, shit. He's on his way. Okay. Oh, I'm actually playing a little maze now. I can't tell where he went. I'm gonna fall. Oh, I'm assuming I can't run into that. I feel like I hear him up top. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I don't hear him anymore. Fuck. Ah! I swear it sounded like he was up this way. I probably need to try it. Maybe I just go up through here. Maybe I need to try and go right after it goes past me. There's a... Oh, I can fast forward past this? Okay, I'll probably have to wait then. I have no idea if I'm leaving. I, I might, it might be an entirely different direction. Hey! Look at fucking instincts for days, dude! At the end of the maze, you will find the evil critters of the night. When in doubt, you follow your ears. Oh! They will haunt, hunt you. They will laugh. But there will always be a good side. A cat full of nuts and bolts will always be your guide. Oh, there goes my picture of me, Familia. Chapter 2, Part 1, Curiosity Symptoms. Okay. Oh my goodness, that was close. I hope the guards don't find the sewer. Oh, what is this place? I hope to find Mr. Midnight soon. Okay, so I still have the pills. I remember something funny. Where'd your arm go? you got to be bleeding. Kind of tired of all the red milk coming out of everyone. Mr. Midnight, are you here? I'm going to take the meds. Nom, 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 nom. Um. Oh, a key. Oh. Curiosity be damned. Damn you, curiosity. Oh, I like that I'm curious. Otherwise, how will you learn things? What are you? But what are you? You're kind of curious yourself. What is the qu right question? But why would be more appropriate? I want the key. 
I don't have time to chat, sir. I want the key, that is all. Oh, but the key isn't ours, and it's not yours for sure. It's good to have an extra key. It's always good to have an extra key, especially when you're up to something. We couldn't care less. The affection towards you is simply none. I'm Fran. You're very honest. I like that. I'm a person, Fran. Pleased to meet you. Interesting. Tell us more. I had a cat. I have a cat. Well, I had one. He's missing now. I have to find him. Really? Yes, really. Now, please give me the key. Look, person, Fran. <laughs> we come from the south, flying, as always. And one of us got curious about this key. Then, all of us got stuck here. And because of our long hair, we can't get loose. Can I help? So you're, you're also curious. Can I help you? We usually get stuck on trees, but we have something to fix that. A beautiful comb to comb our hair every time we get stuck. Give, it, give me the comb and I'll fix you. But there's a problem. A filthy thief took our comb. Now we're stuck forever. If you find the thief and the comb, you'll get the key. Deal? What does he look like? It's a rat. A filthy narcissist rat. He took the comb to make himself beautiful. That fucking rat. How dare he? We couldn't do much, so he ran away with it. Please find it and free us from curiosity. I'll find him. I hope he hasn't gone too deep into the forest. I'll find him. We'll be here, waiting. Oh, dude, there's more of them moving in the back. I'm gonna... Okay, so I should probably stay pilled for now. Uh, maybe not. Oh! That's not a rat, but that's a big bug. Wow, that's a really big insect. Or is it a pig? Well, it's very odd. Hello, sir. Oh, wow, you really are a very big ant. Who's there? <laughs> are you... Excuse me, sir, are you real? Ugh, you always ask the same thing. Always. Always? What do you mean, always? Of course I'm real. Where did you come from? Oh, I escaped the mental hospital, but please don't tell anybody. I won't tell, don't worry. But what are you doing here? Bad, really bad things happen to me, sir, but now I'm looking for my cat. A cat, you say? Yes, sir, a black cat with very big yellow eyes. Mr. Midnight. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, girl. Please, at least tell me you've seen him around here. It happens that the cat was eaten, chewed up, and swallowed. Eaten? What do you mean? The black cat that came towards me in a hurry. I catch it. I give it to my beetle pig. Oh, <gasps> you little shit. My beetle pig is hungry. Oh, my poor beetle pig hasn't had any food in days. Blueberry time passed by and we ate them all. He, what the fuck? Stop it. Can't you see Mr. Midnight is the only friend I have. Please tell me you're joking. Oh, little girl, don't cry. I can sing for you if you'd like. <laughs> what will I do now? You don't know how it feels to be alone. Oh, I do know, yes, I'm the last one alive. Let me help you, yes. How can you help, possibly help me? The digestion is not so fast, you know. Maybe he's still alive in the beetle pig. Should I do something like make the beetle pig vomit? Kill the beetle pig. Yeah, Shiva. Kill the beetle pig. He is also the only friend I have left. But I need the meat. I can do it. I'll kill the beetle pig. Kill your beetle pig friend. I I can do it. Yes, do it. You kill. You can kill the beetle pig, and I, Antonio the Greatest, shall eat the meat. What the fuck is happening? You look like an owl. Is that right? Your feathers are beautiful. Ooh, an axe. <gasps> nice. I can use terrible axe, but a warrior and saver thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can use it to kill the pig. The beetle pig. What's over here, though? Oh, there's a, a well. Oh, well, I could try to open it and see what's inside. I can't move the cover. It's stuck. Just my luck. Okay, let's see if we can actually use it on this, too. Nice. Uh, there's no hole, though. Yeah. Um, well. What's this say? Make an entry. Maybe now. Okay. What the fuck? Maybe I can do it again? Yeah, yeah, I figured probably not. But, oh, well, I tried. Okay, time to kill the beetle pig. Die, beetle pig! Oh, son of a bitch. He, he's fucking running away from me. Hey! You! Die! I, this... Son of a... Do I need to talk to it first? Oh, you pig! Did you eat my cat? 
Mr. Midnight, just... Okay, let's... Now. Motherfucker! You little shit, stop running away from me! Let me kill you! Oh my... Fucking pee pig. Oh my god. He's fallen asleep. I guess he's very old. Like, thir can I kill him? Ugh, that won't do. What the f- I can't see him in this vision. I can't. Motherfucker! Can I cut this tree down? No. This is insanity! Surely I can't combine- Yeah. You know. Mother. A sharp axe that can cut and destroy things dangerous. Maybe I need to go back and check things? Hello, tree. Maybe I use it on the tree now? No. Well, what the fuck? How am I supposed to... What the hell? I'm gonna lose my shit. What am I... What the fuck? Oh, maybe... Oh... Oh! Oh, a feather. Tickle, tickle. Okay, so maybe I get- I make- I, maybe it'll roll over if I use the feather. Hold on. Maybe the feather on it. What the- The fuck is the point? Tickle, tickle! Ah, the threat is great! Great! Wake up! Sir, wake up! Now, I think the beetle pig doesn't like the idea of being killed. Oh. I see. But that's completely normal, isn't it? What should I do? Yes, but what should I do then? You have to give him the special berries. The blueberries. There are no berries, but there are no berries in the woods. I shouldn't say this to you, but I have the right connections. They live inside my house. They have blueberries. My house is in that direction. Be careful. Oh, thank you, sir. Okay, so maybe... Oh, back here. Okay. Uh... Look, it's a really bright star back there. Okay. All right. We found his house. What's it look like? Oh, okay. It looks like just a regular stack. What did this look? <gasps> hey! Oh. Poor, poor, poor friend. I'm in danger. Find me alive. Find me dead. Bip, bip. Find me someday in the golden cage. He's in a cage? Okay. There's no smoke coming out of it. Okay, so we're gonna go in his house. This must be the ant's house. It seems to be open, but very stuck. But the power of destruction will take it down. I'm breaking down his door. Oop. A door handle. Okay. Whoopsies. Don't tell him that I broke his door. Oh, the paintbrush with glue. Someone forgot to clean the brush. Oh, nice. I can eat that. I can eat the glue. Yum, yum. Okay, wow. This underpants. There's a water in the sink. Anything in here? That's odd. I thought ants never cook their meals. Cute lamp. Some meat. Oh, yeah, let's... We can feed the pig and then distract it. Wait. Wait, can I combine it with glue? Ah, oh, unfortunate. Okay, so we'll, it'll, it'll eat the meat and then I'll kill it while it's distracted. Easy peasy. What's the... What the fuck? Sir, you look so angry. Wow, you are very rare. Lady Pinecone, what are you cooking? Don't be scared. I just saw some berries. Oh, I didn't even notice the berries because they're so funny. Baby Pinecone, haha, -ha, so sweet. Okay, so I'm going to knock him over. They're really... Maybe... If I use glue on them? Stop it, you bad pinecone. I need those. Oh, 
I'm gonna keep knocking this kid over so they let me take the fucking berries. Okay, Grandpa's pissing me off. Can I use my axe on him? Uh, I, I feel like I should just fucking glue him. There's gotta be something I'm missing back here. Ooh, I'm in an entirely different area. I am in an entirely... I'm not taking that bag. It's not with all those ants on it. Uh, maybe we use the meat to lure it away. Okay. It worked. Uh, examine. The bag has anti-bug sign, but the bag is open. So I can't see what's in the bag. Okay. Um... Maybe I give them the bag? Oh, I had to hit use. Uh, there's a rat trap and a card. Exterminator. John Plummet. Use the text. Uh, the text is almost gone. <gasps> oh, f Are we- are you- do you guys realize where this is about to go? I'm about to murder their child. I'm about to murder their child. Oh, never mind. Dad's dead. Just kidding. Hold on. Nice. I got it. Okay. Easy peasy. Oh no, they locked the door. Oh, I, th I thought I was going to knock the kid over and I thought it was going to like cut its head off. Okay. That was, that was actually a lot more wholesome than I thought that was going to be. The queen of meat. Oh, I, that would have, that was a, would have been a great hint for me. Oh, hey. Hi, lady ghost. The homie's no longer in the river. I saw her even though I didn't have the pills. Okay. Did you kill the beetle pig already? I can't, I can't smell fresh. Okay, so I need to give it... Maybe I combine it with glue. No, okay. Okay, so I need to give it the berries. Did you eat my cat? Okay, the berries are there. Now I can kill it. Yeah, look how happy he is. Oh, hey, the rat's in there. What? You're not my cat. Oh, miss, you saved me from misery. Where's Mr. Midnight? I assume you're feeling disappointed. Who are you looking for? What's the point of anything now? I was looking for my cat. Oh, miss lady, I'm not very fond of cats, you know. A black one with very big yellow eyes was trying to catch me. Really? You seem to be getting in trouble quite often. Wait, maybe he's my cat. Oh, my lady, if he is, and he is one, the one in trouble now. Tell me where you saw him last, please. I can show you. Follow me. It's not far from here. I think this might be the same rat that has the comb that we need. But we'll see what happens. Okay. I'm sorry, Beetle Pig. I wish I didn't have to. Can I not take the axe back? Shit. The Beetle Pig is dead now, sir. Oh, thank you. Now we eat. Um, I can't. Just so you know, there was n no cat inside the Beetle Pig, but a rat. A rat? Oh, I'm so sorry. My eyes are very old, you see. I also have heart problems and very bad back. I also suffer from narcolepsy, and sometimes I don't... <laughs> God damn it. Good for him. Good night. <coughs> Mr. Rat. Here we are. Somebody took him, miss. They just disappeared. Be more... Sp um, oh my goodness. Could you be more specific? <laughs> I wish I could. It looked like the earth swallowed them. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know. I'll be around. Excuse me. Did you steal a hair comb? Oh, the hair comb. The shiny, beautiful hair comb. Can I have it, please? All right then, but can you please comb my hair first? Sure. Yes, I can comb your hair. Aw, he's really happy about that. Thank you, my lady, you're very kind. Aw. Do you have any idea how to find my kitty? It depends, my lady. Have you looked around hard enough to find him? Who took my cat? Do you know the person who took my cat? Oh, my dear miss, I wish I could help you, but those who took your cat seem to be uh, from another world. Maybe they had, like, a portal that nobody else can see. Who knows? A portal? 
what is the portal a portal miss like the regular door i think i see thank you rat bye okay the rat was like not as much of an asshole as i was expecting when they said it, he was gonna be like a narcissist and shit all right i have your comb here's your beautiful comb misters there we go look two people got their hair combed today oh fran the person you finally did it oh they're a bunch of little like fireflies hope the key uh, hope the key opens the door you want to open now we fly south at last goodbye oh beautiful goodbye shiny misters have a nice trip all right i now have a key can i use it on wait am i supposed to come am i supposed to create a door on the well maybe because they said it's like a portal um no oh yeah 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 i i yes wait no fuck well Okay, so I make an entry, but really, I, I thought I thought that would be making it. Sometimes things just don't work. Rat, who did this to you? Was it my kitty? Maybe I do it in this world? I'm missing a, a door? Was there a door over here? Okay, there is. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Thank you. I, I did not see that there. I thought that was just a random piece of wood. Thunk up. Boy, Sam. All right, use. Put the door here, and then we'll now use the key. All right, in we go. What a curious little door. I wonder where it will lead me. Mr. Midnight, are you here? Oh, there's a creepy girl. Ugh. Ew, ew physical representation of HIV right there. Chapter two, part two, double pers personality. Oh, I'm wearing my cat on my head and I'm in some late. Oh God, is this some Hansel and Gretel shit? Oh my goodness, where am I? What the fuck? Huh? What is, what's this? A hat? I think we should keep it on. Oh no. Mr. Midnight? Oh no, your head. Kitty. Wait, just a second. This isn't a kitty. That's a, what a weird hat. Anyways, I have to find Kitty. I hope you're here somewhere. Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. Huh? This isn't my home. I guess they thought I was a cat. They can't love me. They don't even know me. Yo, we should put the cat ha ha hat back on. They're gonna get pissed head from a human i close the window so cold when open the window so cold wind comes in cooker my my mommy told me how to use this can i take the knife yes okay it doesn't look like i can take anything else what firewood mr midnight those girls they took my kitty okay so they're like conjoined twins it looks like what's it look like when i'm num 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 I'm actually in the well. Okay. Oh, I see. You're very comfortable there, little baby. Oh, you see, you seem fresh. Are you still alive? Wait, what the fuck? I can climb up this? I can't get there from here. I need a bridge. Okay. Wait, can I use this to interesting hello little baby what are you doing here 
Can I buy the cra crayon and the card? I don't know. I could draw a flying boat or paper swirls. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Dude, this has been a really interesting game so far. I really like the puzzle aspect of it. Ooh, we get some pepper. Okay, seasoning the soup. Mm. Okay, I, I the, a seed. Okay, I'm just taking off salt. Okay. Okay, well, I, I am ready to make some delicious soup. Oh, I got some matches now. Okay, can I combine this with the seed? No, no. Okay, so I can light the house on fire. That'll be fun. I won't sit down. Okay, flowers. They don't smell. They must be plastic flowers. A teddy bear, he kind of looks gutted. Do you see that? All right, let's see. Let's swap over. Okay, so it will take me back here every time. Gotcha. All right, what's over here? Their house is so cute. This isn't my cup. Sugar in all different colors. Delicious and beautiful. Oh, we got some pictures of them. Cute. Oh, that's cool. And then a little house there. Okay. Cozy and warm. Oh, I stole a vase. Okay. Can I come? Okay, see, so don't. Okay, okay, okay. Firewood in line to be burnt. Now I understand what the deer wanted back in the hospital. <laughs> okay, let's go check over here before we. Go upstairs. Um. Oh my goodness, the smell. The poor girl. Who could have done this and why? I need to be careful and protect myself and my kitty. Oh, fuck. She's. Okay, she's following me. Did she fuck off? Okay, that, uh, uh, weird. Oh, a record player. wonder if it still works. Let's see. A typewriter. It also works. I guess I could write something, but there isn't any paper. A lot of books on the shelf. Yeah, this music slaps. There might be a dead person on the floor, but at least the music's good. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a, the big ant from the woods? Oh my God. He's a music legend. Jance, I think I saw his name earlier. Wait a minute. It's the big ant from the woods. Oh, do I need to curl up, close this window? I can't see anything but water. Oh, okay. So we are in the house on the island, I guess then. The stairs end in a wall. Okay, so maybe we have to go up the other stairs. Okay. Oh, that's not creepy. A monster who looks like, who likes goats. I have a broom now. Wow, they're giving me a lot of items this time. The sisters, they look alike. Uh, there's a random chain. Okay. But this is the great thing about ADHD. I see something, I just touch it. <laughs> Saves me time. Uh, it's really fucking dark up here. There's some... Wait, gold cage. Is that Mr. Midnight? Mr. Midnight, are you in here, kitty? Meow. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's you, my beloved friend. I found you. Fran, is that really you? Oh dear, finally. It's me. Come closer, let me... Please, let me see you. Oh! <gasps> Oh, Mr. Midnight! Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you! I missed you so very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. Aw, I love you too, Mr. Midnight. And I really missed you. Oh, dear Fran, how did you find this place? After those people took you away into the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but... Something happened. Somebody took me and put me in a cage. Oh, my dear. I'll open the cage. We need to get to, uh, we need to get to Aunt Grace. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish all this was just a bad dream. I'm tired too, but at least now we can take care of each other. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight. What is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? I, I wasn't really, it wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us together. Oh. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. 
Really? What kind of presence? From what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. Well, whatever it was, it's good, and it brought us together. Fran, did you hear that? Did you? Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try and find the key to free you, all right? I love you. Oh, I can't believe we found Mr. Midnight. Go on, Fran, please get me out of this cage. Find the key. Oh, my God. Hi oh, speaking of cat, Mr. Hello, Edgar. Speaking of black cats. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Oh, God, I keep thinking she's going to attack me. Oh, drawer opened. Oh, I got some candles. Oh, maybe I can light them. Ugh, it's the monster and so much blood. I guess it's not, I'm not the only one who can see him then. Is he holding a head? I have to be careful. Um, a mirror, but why is my, wasn't my reflection there? She's a vampire. I knew it. Sleep tight and then I get back home. It looks like a very old painting. Mom holding two babies. I wonder. It's probably the kids. Okay, these toys are so ugly. Hello, doll. Who caught you? Oh, there's... <gasps> tweezers. Can I pluck that? No. All right. So I've got tweezers. Man, I have so many items here. Okay. I, I can't even think of what to... Maybe I can use the broom and get the cobwebs off the chair. No, maybe not. What about the jewelry box? The perfume smells like teenagers. I bet it's Axe Body Spray. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go back downstairs. Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where's your head? My head? My head is just in the right place. It's you, the precious being from the other world. Who would who would ever believe us? Uh, I'm very confused now, ladies. What are you talking about? Fran Bo, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. It was very brutal, right? And now you want to know who killed them, right? Slow down. How do you know all this? We simply have to know. We're part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us all the time. I wish I was at home with mom and dad. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. Yes, but the pain I feel is so great, I can't see any solution. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. Thank you, but I really need to know who told you these things about me. Are you scared, little Fran? A little. It's odd the way I came here, but this conversation is making me confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. You haven't asked about your cat. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. They can't know I've been in the attic. Yet you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be trembling in fear of you? Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? Wait, what? Huh? Why? I love him and that's why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. You want him back? Yes, please. I really want to have him back. He's my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us how you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They opened the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret, and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods, and we met a giant ant. And I killed a bug, and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door, and a door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Oh, and, and I saw a real pine cone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antonio's house. <laughs> Get it, Antonio? Um, they like berries. Oh, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in the trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods, and now I'm here looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm 10 years old, but I'm going to turn 11 soon. And you? We're 16 years old, much older than you, so you have to obey us. I just wish you would open the cage so I can go home with my kitty. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around someone's house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all. Stop that, please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. 
If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Excuse me, what? 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 Do you understand? Yes, ladies, I'll do whatever you need. Good, now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a magic spell on us. Do you like magic? Yes, Annie also did magic, but she had no idea how to actually do it. Anyway, this magic is very powerful and dangerous. Here's the recipe. Be careful and precise. Otherwise, terrible things can happen. Okay, summon the old lost body. The fuck? Um, okay, so lost in darkness, lost in tears. Your bodies become a lie through the hand of one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You will need the heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, hair and blood from a black cat, a pentagram made of ashes, and the burnt body of a fox. This must be cooked all together inside a pot or, co or cauldron with plenty of water. When you're about to drink the potion, repeat these words. Manam bu kagsni o manai erg bantar. I feel, I feel like I'm speaking simlish. Erg bantid erg bibir esh ibir man kagsni magbuka ibir fivern fivern. Do you know? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Do it yourself. We can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. You used to be, we used to be two different people and two different bodies. But why are you like this now? One night, a long time ago, something appeared before us. We thought it was an angel, but it wasn't. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back, but wouldn't, but we'll do that later. I, f I don't feel like we should be summoning him because it's probably the thing that wants to kill us too. I would bet. I'm a betting bitch. Um, but we'll do that later when we're no longer attached to each other and show him that he's powerless and he will regret it. Um, that sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. We're going to gather some things uh, you'll need for the ritual. In the meantime, you can go talk to your cat. But we won't set him free yet. Don't even try to open the cage. If you help us, we will help him. Thank you. I'll go and talk to him. Um, and Fran, do you do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you? You silly, silly girl. <laughs> okay. Fucking bitches. A lot of candy and stuff. Okay, so I don't, where the fuck are we even start from here? It's him again, but I haven't taken any pills. Well, he opened the window. Thank you, but who is he? Oh, I can go. Oh, hey, there's the frog I need to. Hey, you. Yes, who's speaking? Me, I'm a toad. I have something to tell you. Yes, what is it? You are in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl, I'm a toad, and I know I can swim away from this place, but they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically return. This house is a huge, is like a huge magnet. A toad and cat magnet. They love us, but, w but not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. That's terrible. That's why my kitty is here then. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? How did you know that? Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, well, that could be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. What? But what should I do then? I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I would be creative. Hmm, creative. I'll try my best. And girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. Yeah, I don't feel like summoning is, is a great idea. A rusty old bicycle in the middle of the island. Oh, okay, I got a plank of wood. Uh, what's, what's, oh, that's the summoning stuff. Uh, I don't even know where to begin with some of this shit. Big rock. Can I talk to him more? Do you find the solution already? I don't know what to do. I'm mentally stuck. I know you have something that lets you see other th things. That, oh, okay, so I can, who told you that? I'm a talking toad. Is that normal? I don't think so. But you can talk to me. That makes you special. It's logical. You're right. Uh, but what about the things that I can see then? Have you tried? Have you seen everything? Maybe you're missing some messages. 
I'll see what I can find. Okay, so I guess it'll be different since we're outside now. It is. My sister's trying to catch me, but I ran away. I'm scared. Would you help me? I have a monster inside my head. Okay, and then the wall here says, doubters need the truth on paper. Doubters, I guess some people believe you when it's written down. But what does it mean? Who wrote this? Doubters need the truth on paper. So maybe that's something with like the typewriter? Um, interesting. Okay. I don't know if I should open that or not. Let's try this again. Okay, so we're still here. Uh, maybe I- because I need the head, right? No, I thought I did. Okay. Um, and I need to- Maybe they didn't have enough to paint her. I guess everyone has different styles and tastes. Maybe it'll look different upstairs when I take the pills. We do need the fox. Foxy, you know, I wish I could take you out of here. Hmm. Let's talk to the cat. Go on, Fran, please get me out of this cage. Find the key. Oh, interesting. Wait, what if I take it here? Will I land in the proper spot? No, not quite. I like need to land more on the right side. Like if I could land there, there's a message in a bottle. Hmm. Okay, they're not over here anymore. My tiny paintings. Uh, poor girl. Um, let's see if we can do something with the typewriter now. Hmm. No. Um. Heart of a frog. The head of a young virgin. Hair and blood from a black cat. A pentagram made of ashes. And the burnt body of a fox. I think I have to kill the toad. To, like kick things off oh wait could i use my i see there's ashes here can i sweep this up no unless i mean there's i do have a piece of wood now because it said to make a bridge before maybe maybe i can use the piece of wood now i feel like it's probably not enough yeah let's go okay then let's cut this oh my god let's go dude holy shit i'm glad i tried that first i was gonna fucking kill the frog all right what's the message in the bottle say and a fucking frog took it oh uh oh it died and got disemboweled immediately that's interesting ah that burned why there's no fire I can't touch the bottle. It really burns. Okay, let's try the forceps. Nice. Okay, revealing the true soul. Okay. The world hides the truth from you. Work your soul through life, and you will understand the purpose of this act. If you try to corrupt the this essence, your soul will be hidden and never seen to face the truth. To destroy an impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need blood from the executioner of the rit ritual. Um, a blue bloomed moonlight rose hair from the person you want to bewitch. So I have to find a way to get their hair. And I'm technically the executioner, so I should be able to use my blood. Draw a pentagram with the ashes uh, inside the black and white square. Put a lightened black candle on every point of the pentagram. Fill a cauldron with water and put the other elements in it. She's getting comfy. Um, boil, pour over the over the person you want to bewitch, 
and then repeat these words while you walk around them. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so where the fuck are we doing the pentagram, though? Okay, so like... Yep, there we go. Got my blood. Nice. Ouch, that hurt. But now I, but now I have some of my blood. Okay, so I need to figure out... Are we doing it in here? Okay. Okay, I guess that's if I get the cauldron later. Oh, here's the cauldron. Okay, it's right under. I got it. I still think we might need to leave that open. So maybe I put... Okay, I have to find water first. Okay, so what's the... Okay, I got my, the blood. Uh, five black candles, ashes to form a pentagram. Um, a blue-bloomed moonlight rose. Do you hear that? It's like someone's walking around. I feel like this has got to be the rose. I mean, maybe it's outside and I missed it. Or we grow it, maybe? Yeah, it says use moonlight seed. Oh, what the fuck? Moonlight, where the fuck am I supposed to? Maybe I go outside? Did you find a solution already? Bye. I feel like surely the moonlight seed goes outside. Well, maybe not. Okay. That's an urn. Hey, it's a flower pot, all right? I really, really, really thought it was outside. Maybe in the water. That's a blue rose. Maybe it has to go in the water. Ah! Yeah! Let's go! I did it! Okay, that's... Fuck yeah, dude. I'm so glad I noticed that. Thank God I walked through there. Again? Holy shit. Okay. Hair from the person we want to bewitch. Okay. I don't know if they're home yet. Um, now I have to find their hair. Surely their bedroom, yeah. Unless they're over here. No. Okay. Let's check upstairs I don't see any hair that won't work um I feel like it would be on their pillow you know okay so I probably have to wait Maybe I need to, like, make the pentagram somewhere first. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking it would be on a brush, but I'm not... I'm not seeing a, a hairbrush. Um, you know, there's a perfume bottle, there's makeup, that's a powder. Um, that's a boa. Yeah, that's why I kind of thought over there might be it. And that girl... that body didn't even have a head on it, so... Um, there's not a bathroom in here. Believe it or not. Maybe... Yeah, I don't have the forceps anymore. Let's go check in here. <laughs> Double checking all of this. There's nothing there. Uh, spatula, spoon. Okay, I thought I clicked all this before, but I guess not. 
Okay, so I have baking soda now. I, I don't understand what that is going to be helpful for. Teapot, painting of... Okay. What the fuck would I use the baking soda for? Maybe they didn't have enough to paint everything. I guess everyone has different styles and tastes. Why is this part painted black? Do I have to do candles first? No. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, candles. Okay, so I think I just have to prep it. Okay, so this is definitely the spot for it. Okay, five black candles, ashes form to form a pentagram. Did I do it? Oh, did I fuck this up? I clicked the fucking blood on the ground though. Shit. Did I, oh, did I mess this up? This won't work. Uh, maybe... No, that can't... That can't be done. Draw up again... Oh, okay, right. Because it's more than just that step. Uh, put a lighted black candle on every point of the pentagram. Fill a cauldron with water and put the other elements in. Okay, so I need to light the candles first. Okay. Uh, put that on the stove. Bring it to a boil. Oh, I have to turn it off first. Uh... Is it on? I have to turn on the fire. Maybe I need wood first. Oh, light. I probably have to light it. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um, fill a cauldron, bring it to a boil, pour over the... Uh, put the other elements in. So I need to put salt in my my blood, the rose. Salt and pepper. Okay. And then... Okay, and I still have to get the hair from them. Hair from the person you want to bewitch. Maybe they're back now? I still have to get the hair. Fuck. Uh, thank you, Ashley. If we're able to give hints, alter the original recipe with the typewriter. That's what I haven't done yet. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Thank you. I refuse to do this. It can't be. Maybe there's something else I can do. Okay, cool. So that I can give to them so they think that it's their hair now. Okay, that's how we do it. Thank you. All right, let's see if they're in here now. They are. Aha! We did it. Fran, here are the materials you'll need. Have you started the ritual? Yes, but I need more time. I can't remember all the words. Well, learn them fast. Uh, let us know when you're ready. Oh my god, they brought a fucking head home. Psst, girl, I think you need help getting rid of the bag. Of oh, that bag, I can do it for you. But I may need it. No, you don't. Trust me. If we want to get out of here, the bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye. Okay. Alright, I need to show- I'm gonna show them the paper. Look, ladies, there's something missing. I couldn't find your hair from uh, in the bag. Hair, you say? No hair is needed. We know that. But look for yourself. It's written down there in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. Whew. There we go. There. Now get prepared. I'll let you know when I'm ready. We did it. 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 Yeah, thank you, Cody. All right, I'll put the hair in. Good. It's ready to go! Alrighty! I should go get, uh, show the girls that the potion's ready. 
Oops, gotta put the bag away. <sighs> We're waiting for you, Fran. Okay, so I have to show her. Everything is ready, let's go to the kitchen. Good, let's go. Okay. I need them to stand in the circle, I think, too. All righty. Please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. All right, perfect. Here we go. And now I'll say the, the words. Bonte er erken. O er begman. Oi, ibur. Nam ibur. Erg bonte er erken. Begman oofman. Mon time. Goff mea. Erbeer ek itios. Ernemi bogmeg. Iburn insne. I love, I love when you, I don't know, she's just fucking pretending I'm doing Simlish. <laughs> Wait a second, that isn't the right spell. You tricked us. Too late. Oh. Oh, they dead as hell. Oh, they dead as hell. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What have I done? Oh my goodness, this isn't right. Eh. Tough ship. They were gonna summon some demon anyways, dude. And bitches were already dead. <sighs> Mr. Midnight! I have the key! What is it, Fran? Open the cage. I can't. The key doesn't fit. Oh, fuck! Did you see another keyhole somewhere? I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look around. I'll be waiting. Hurry up. There's another keyhole somewhere? Where the fuck? Huh? Is it this cage? Dude, where the fuck was another key? Another? Where the? I am mad confused. Another keyhole. Oh, fuck. Okay, the top of the mirror has one. I didn't notice that. Uh, a mechanical thing that rotates. Maybe some sort of engine. This isn't one that can... Okay, so I have to move. What, where the fuck am I supposed to move this to, though? Okay, so I have to see what I can move. Okay. Okay, it's not spinning though. Like, shouldn't it start spinning? Maybe they all have to connect first before it'll spin. It's probably gonna freak out if I don't go this way. There we go, okay. Okay, okay, I'm doing it. Okay. I think I have to get... Okay, I'm gonna have to probably move this for now. Just so... I can move it up, but then how the,
I'm so close, but so far. There we go. Woo! Easy peasy. I did it. Now we've got a screaming mask at me. Oh, it broke the mirror. Okay. Oh, there's the twins. I think. They got trapped behind a mirror. Sister promise, we, Clara and, me, and Maya Bu Buhalmet, um, promise to revenge the unfair destiny it were just decided for us. Um, with blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other and we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. Also, it word is, is where the, the, I think the asylum name, uh, what they were dubbing it. Nothing will ever change that. But now with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The tr strongest will f live forever and the weakest will die. Mother must die. There's the key. And they, here's more of their medicine too. Also, if you can't see, there's a doll right here. Okay. Is there something? Oh, I can go back now. Okay. Damn. But yeah, they've been dead. All right, Mr. Midnight, I got the key. I think it, this is the key. <gasps> it worked, my dear kitty, it worked. Come out, let me hug you. Come on, Mr. Midnight. Aww. Aww. Oh, this feels so good. I'm free, Fran. My good friend. Oh, my dear. We got. We have to get out of here. Yes, let's go. He's looking around. We need to get here, kitty. Hopefully, way I come. I hope so, too, Fran. Do we need to go outside and talk to the frog, maybe, first? I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That's perfect. Now I can leave this place and return to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will you get out of here? There's no boat. Oh, <gasps> yeah, help us. I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my blood is quite malleable, it would be impossible to carry you both on the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave just yet, please. Does that mean we can float away on his blood? Hmm. What if I take the pills now? No, it's still the same. It said body, not blood. Oh! I, the dyslexia strikes again. Um. Can I take... Wait, what about this one? Oh, shit. Can I take this body? That's big enough to carry us. No. Uh, maybe I need the board back. I don't know if I can take it back. No, I can't. Um... Hmm. Find the twins' favorite doll. A sleepy doll, would you please sing for us? Ah, you don't want to, huh? Well, that's okay. Can I not take the doll out of it? Damn it. I thought we could use that as a little boat. Fuck. Um. Surely, oh, God damn it, dude. What the fuck am I supposed to? I was certain we had that. Damn it. Oh, I can try burning the doll. I don't think it'll let me, but we, I mean, we can try it. I don't know why I can't just physically take the doll out and use the, this. Hmm. Take this toad, it may help. I'm not a bakery bun. 
but you're all slimy and soft like dough. You're right, it might work. Here we go. Oh my god, that's what the baking soda's for. <laughs> it worked, it really did. I'm so big. It feels true. I feel gorgeous. <laughs> Great, let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran. I can only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. What are you talking about? He wants to help us. That's all. All right. If he tries anything, I'll scratch him. That's okay, but try not to hurt him too much while we're sit while you're sitting on him. The water is deep, and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey, girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Aw. He gave us our picture back. And this book was with it, too. Oh. Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I lost it forever, but the book isn't mine. Oh, well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Wow, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. <laughs> he looks so funny. Oh my god, we get to play Frogger? Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh no, oh no, fuck. I used to play the fuck out of some Frogger, dude. Pain. Oh, dude, if I just waited a little longer. <gasps> I need to wait longer. I love the art style for these mini games, dude. Like, look at the, it's just claymation shit, dude. It's so good. I hate that it keeps moving. Oh, it'll go back and forth. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Do, 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 do. Click, click. Yeah! Okay. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Miss Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Say goodbye to Mr. Toad, Chad. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Bye, Mr. Toad. Thank you. Fran, what should we do now? Um, find the, the, the way back home, kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Oh, I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. All righty. Oh, I kind of want to check stuff with the the uh, pills over here. Oh, there's a body and a baby here. Oh, dear. Baby skeleton. I guess they didn't make it in time. Good night and sweet dreams. Okay. Oh, this area. Oh, they're caught again. Sir, are you the curious insects that got stuck? They're sleeping. Maybe they're not stuck. They might be dead this time. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, Fran, come on. We have uh, we have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I am, I'm a bit afraid of heights. Ugh, I can go first, uh, then you follow me. All right, kitty, you're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. <laughs> Look at him walk. Look at the way he walks, it's just so funny. <laughs> Fran? Wait. Oh no, oh no, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Oh, that son of a bitch! Oh no! Oh my dear, I can't hold on anymore, I don't wanna die! You won't die, my friend! Come on, you can do it! Jump! Alright, here I go! I got you! Oh, friend! No! Oh, he's jumping too. Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. Oh, a ghost lady is helping us into a bed. Are we back at the asylum? I swear to God. Oh, dear Aunt Grace. Don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. 
Please, Aunt Grace. Why won't you just take me out of here? Please. You're going to leave me all alone, like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear Fran. You will understand soon. Shit. Aunt Grace, no! Don't go, please! Crying, crying blood. A lot of it, too. Oh, fuck. Dr. Dearn! Fran, it's time for your new medication. Oh, shit. Oh, and I'm gone. Bro, I swear if we wake up back in this asylum. Oh, thank God. But, oh no. <gasps> oh, we're, what happened? We're Mr. Midnight now? These are Fran's stockings. And her shoes. Fran's shoe. One of Fran's shoes. Her dress. She's like, just, wait, is she the tree? Is she a tree now? What? Oh, what an ugly tree. I scratch you, evil thing. Kitty? Kitty, stop it! What are you talking about? Oh my god. Fran? My darling, is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. What else would I be? Fran, you're a tree! Don't be silly. Help me get up. Uh, uh, wait a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you've turned into a tree. What? But how? Oh my dear, this is the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he doesn't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. The night mom and dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree! I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. What? Humka igni mihola. Koke koke igrunma. Pasku halani. Igni jokling vanti. There's fucking vegetables talking to me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me why I, what I, where I am, sir? Hoka koke. Hola koke ole. Stab it. I'll scratch you. Hola. Unma igni. <laughs> what are you saying? Oh my kitty, why is this happening to us? Hola. <laughs> Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Hola ig nivanti. <laughs> Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, Fran. <laughs> Stop attacking my friend, Carrot. An old vegetable sitting on a boat. Okay, there's... Oh, there it is. But I'm assuming I... I see my friend's purse. I have to reach it somehow. I refuse to expose my soft, beautiful fur to water. Typical cat. Oh, nice. That's cool. Oh, fuck. Are you... S now, how the fuck... I, I probably have to have something get caught in it. Aha! There we go. Easy peasy. All right, now we get the purse. Oh, I got the purse only because I'm the best. Dude, look at his face in the bottom of the corner. He's carrying it. Okay. Oh, Fran looking dead as hell over here, dude. Fran, my darling, I got the purse. That's amazing. You're the best, Mr. Midnight. Now show this gentleman who is attacking my me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. All right, he wants me to try and use the picture. Oh no, Nihoka! Ah! Runama! Runama! Peskin! Olatu! Um, huh? Where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? They've 
They want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. Okay, Runma. Ippo. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them. Please don't leave me. I'll be right there with you. Galopa. Galopa. Ma. What the fuck is going on? I, this is <laughs> this game, man. Chapter 3. Vegetative state. <laughs> oh, my God. We're... They, one, they put us in a little basket, but two, we're, we're, we're at like a little veggie kingdom. Itmanbal, Minka, Kais, Be, Zyar, Nihala, Onma, Onam, Urshmau, Iptem, Gorska, Imitan, Ulfriel, Gorska, Ziaro. Welcome, creature. My name is Zyar. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes. Finally, words I understand. My good friend Ryde told me that you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my friend. He's scared of you. Oh, he scared you, not of you. Um, we have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Yes, let me explain it to you. Ho, ho, ho. No need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. The seed. Ip Iptim. Monarchist. Ecto. Ecto bro. <laughs> Crypto bro. Crypto pro. <laughs> okay, he just ripped off my earwax, my little, little piece of my hair. Took my fruit. Is he gonna eat it? Hmm, let me see. You're good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the bow family tree. Wait. Huh? Ah, your name is Fran. You're the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards these, this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. Why does everybody know about me? <laughs> Be quiet. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You're not supposed to be here, Fran. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. Uh, I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist? Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die even if your body still walks. Okay. I still feel love for my kitty. I can't be dead. Please help me. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sure, sir. Show us the way back home. I implore you. Ah, I have a question. Are you the king? Ah, uh, you are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Ithersta. What an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They're very pretty. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this Why is this need to go home so great? The seed told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She'll protect me. I want to, fe I want to feel like somebody cares about me. I'm confused almost all the time, and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's up to you to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where's the door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first. You must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir. That will be really great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him on the, after the procedure. Procedure? You must first understand our language. Ah, oh, shit. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Oh, yuck. Oh, he just... Oh, God. It's just like that spit from High on Life, dude. All over again. Ugh. Your ears and tongue will now will be able to understand. But your eye, not your eyes, that means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me, do you understand what I'm saying, human lady? 
Yes, I do. And you and you sound so kind. This is incredible. Did you understand my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon. No doubt about it. You'll fi you'll be you'll do fine, kitty. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? <laughs> yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now, it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? <laughs> well, it depends on the height. Why? <laughs> Take her upstairs immediately. Oh my God, what the fuck is this beetle guy? <laughs> Why are you looking like that? Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs, everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. I thought, doesn't it? I feel like it'd have been easier if he picked me up the other way, but okay. Dirty, thank you for the 35 months. How are you? Oh, is he about to throw me? Am I about to get punted like a football? No. Oh, was that an axolotl? What the hell was that? <gasps> it is. <gasps> it's like Appa in, ax in an axolotl had a baby. It's a sky axolotl. What the fuck? A sky the axolotl bison. Good day. My name is Palantress, and I'm your doctor today, humbly at your service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing. What a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand all, that all this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could stay here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Vol Volokas created us. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Yeah. Who is the great Volokas? Haven't you heard about the five realities? Oh, he's the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken and he was all alone. But he came to Ithersta, and his blood made his water pink. That's why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Okay, so we're in the first reality right now, and there's five of them. So uh, we've been going back and forth between two of them. So we know what three realities are currently. Wow, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about the other realities. And how is this you're here? What brought you to Ithersta? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this, but Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, sometimes our wishes are so strong that become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it in this way. Your human body was destroyed, but you wanted to keep being friend. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories. This is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. <laughs> what? <laughs> but it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. So I'm about to like meta have some metamorphosis go on, bro. I'm going to turn into a beautiful fly i did this to myself wow but palantra sir how i i didn't know i was doing anything you really didn't know what you were doing i see well when you traveled to ithersta you opened a door between your reality and ours and with this door open unexpected creatures can also enter our reality oh fuck he's no oh, that thing's don't follow us and if that happens the balance will be tainted and there's only one who wishes to poison the second reality. The monster. The terrible black. Wait, so we are in the second reality right now? I thought we were in the first. I'm confused. Oh, he's crying. I can't see this happen again. I just can't. Don't be sad, doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Our little girl. Oh, little girl, you're so nice. And you don't have to anything to be sorry for. 
I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs, all right? Hmm. Yes, doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, give Fran her arms and legs. Oh my god, she's the tree form. How do you feel, Fran, Ethersta? From Ethersta? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we'd fix it. Yeah, Groot got an upgrade, dude. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mommy and daddy? Ooh. ooh, ooh. What do you mean fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You're the best doctor I've ever had. And you're fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dearn, but he was an evil old man. An old man? Hm, I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Uh, that fish was cool. <laughs> Nate, thank you for the 46 months. How are you? And we're back. Here we are again. Shows you are the king. Uh, what a nice ether st stan eyes you've become. Thank you again, doctor. You'll have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. I feel like this this reality is about to get fucked up because of the, you know, the, the demon. <laughs> you fluffy kitty. Ah, do you like that? <laughs> Here I am. Fran, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty. Oh, let me see you. What a great earthen sten eyes you've become. Thank you, King, sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry, Palantress. Well, your Palantress would be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard. Yes, the great wizard is the only one who can bring your human body back. And he has the stones to open the door that will lead you home. Where is the wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I just don't understand. Ha! You've been, you haven't even been outside this castle and you already want to know everything. That, uh, that's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, Fran. The great wizard lives upon the great mountain, Kaltrum. But we haven't seen him for a while. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the great wizard yourself? Yeah, would have saved us some time. Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We could do that ourselves. The wizard's most important task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see. So the stones are like keys. And where's the mountain you mentioned? You'll have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Oh, there's our buddy. There's the doctor. Have a great Thursday day and good luck finding the great wizard. Wow, did you see the huge fluffy creature kitty? That's Palantras. He fixed me. Yes, I. it's certainly very fluffy, but I for, Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Nice. Thank you, kitty. Oh, dude, did you see our hand is also a little wooden hand now? Oh, thank you, kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the, the lake near next to your clothes. I feel like the pills are not a good idea to be using in this realm. Well, um, well, we have other things to do anyways. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the king said something about a mountain too. Yes, Mount Kotrim, the great wizard lives there. Let's go. We fell, we fell into this reality, Riley. Oh, hey, Mr. Beetle. No, 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 you can't get in, it's closed. Sorry, I just wanted to see what's in this passage. Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back in fall or winter, then it will be open. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to see Palantras? Yes, that's me. Palantras gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. Hee <laughs> hee, yes. But why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's lo that's logical. As the sun goes around the second moon of Ethersta, we open. Only then will the real knowledge be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. Oh, so you don't learn anything while it's summer or spring? Of course we learn. We're learning all the time. I'm learning now that you like to ask many questions. <laughs> well, I'm curious. That's why. Everything's so different here in Ethersa. I guess you're not from around here. Well, I hope to see you soon. Yes, thank you, sir. Bye. Okay, so can't go in the library unless it's fall or winter. 
What's over here? Wow, that's a bit scary, but it's so beautiful. Okay. What about this way? Oh my god, it is gorgeous. Hmm, that flag is waving very hard. Hello to you. Oh, there's another beetle over here. Hello, sir. Are you a guard? Yes. <laughs> oh, I see. Do you know where Mount Cottrum is? Yes. Can you tell me where it is? Yes. Well, tell me, please. Hm. Mount Cottrum is only in winter time. Fuck, there's two things we can't do because it's got to be winter time now. Winter time? What are you talking about? <clears throat> of course, winter time. What do you think? But I can't wait for winter time. Oh, you don't wait for it. You go there. Huh? Go? Oh, but how? Ugh, sorry, but I'm no good at explaining things. Go down the stairs and then straight. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things, I think. He tried with me before. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay. Down the stairs we go. Wait, where? I already forgot where he told me to go. Right down the stairs in the right. That's the way to the castle and the library, mountain, tree, little water. It seems to be the way to the market. Oh, wow. That's so pretty. Can I catch the fish? Oh, look. They're flying in the back. So many fish, they seem to be in a hurry. Wait, what's what's Mr. Midnight doing back here? You told me we found Mount Caldrum and the Great Wizard. Okay. So straight and then right. Oh, wow, it's so cool. Greetings. Are you interested in fabric and thread? I have some. Uh, why do you use fabric? Out of curiosity, miss, for what purpose do you use fabric? Everybody's naked. Well, whatever you need it for. We also have thread for making other things. I see. I have to go, miss. Have a nice day. What if I need What if I need it, though? Good. Thread and cloth to make stuff. What about this beetle? Hello. Ah, who's there? Who? Oh, they can't see me. Mr. Me, Frank, can't you see me? Oh. Now I see a little. You have four eyes. Wow. Four eyes? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> four eyes? I don't have... Uh, what are you selling? <laughs> Only the very best plobus of the entire land. Do you want to smell it? Uh, sure, they look like coconuts. It's poo, miss. Poo that I collect. Oh my god, he's a fucking dung beetle. <laughs> They're not coconuts. Poo, like the toilet? Wow, I thought it was really bad to eat poo. Bad? Why? It's very yummy. We love it here. It makes everything grow and shine. Hee <laughs> hee. I have to go now. get going now. Good luck with the plobus. Bye. Is a blacksmith? Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day. I'm Pruder. <laughs> I'm Pruder and I'm molding this piece of iron. Oh, for what? I deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker. Oh, I see. You can make all kinds of metallic stuff. Sure. If you have some ideas, we can talk about them and pat, pat am. I'll do it. That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working. But if you need my services, you know where I am. <laughs> Here, okay, so here's the clockmaker. Hello, what are you doing? Hmm, working on my clock. All right. Oh, I see. Sir, do you know where I can find the great wizard? No, miss. I make clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick tock. Hmm. And you know where Mount Contram is? Mount Contram only exists in winter time. Otherwise, it's it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. The king said the wizard would be on Mount Contram. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. There, time is an infinitely layered reality. Oh, a layered reality? That sounds great. But what should I do then? Go to the clock and change the season. Just change it. Where's the clock? Where's the clock? Well, go towards the castle, but turn left. Um, when you see the stairs, you'll find a big clock on the tree. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You're very nice. Goodbye. What about the ant? Hello, lady. Is there any news? Good day. Would you like to read the newspaper? Uh, I, I can't. But I can't read Ithirst. Um, hmm. What is the Ithirst's language called? Don't you know? It's called a thurnish. Are you a tourist? Yes, I am. My name is Fran. I've never seen a tourist before, and I've never seen a Fran either. <laughs> Welcome to Thirsta. I hope you have fun around here. Thank you so much. I have to go now. Bye. Okay, there's stuff over here. Oh. Hello, little root. You're so cute. 
Oh, thank you. You're cute, too. I'm Fran, and you are? Me? No, I'm not Fran. I'm Zelma, and I want to sing all day long. What's your favorite song? My favorite song goes like this. One and one are two. One and two are three. Two and three are five. And three and five are eight. And I don't know any more than that. I learned that at school. It's fun. Oh, that sounds very mathematical. I have to go now. You have a beautiful fruits, uh, by the way. See ya. Okay, what are the snail? Hello. Good day, young one. What are you doing? The war is about to start, and I can't see any meaning in the meaningless. <laughs> what do you mean? Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one gold coin if you come back alive. And join you? Join you where? The game is about to begin. You are the Kamalas. I am the Valokas. Black and white, as shadows and light. Is this a sort of board game, sir? Yes, a board game. Let's immerse ourselves in the adventure. You against me. I'll give you a coin if you win, eh? What do you say? Sure, uh, what are the rules? First, you place the three of the same figures into a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical lines win. We toss the machine, we toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? So it's like tic-tac-toe, yeah. Sure, it sounds like a game we used to play at school called tic-tac-toe. But why would you just give me the gold if I win? Time is gold and I'm very old. I've been around for a long time. I just want to have a good time. I see. Well, let's play. All right, I'm about to play some fucking tic-tac-toe. All right, let's see. Mm. <laughs> Son of a bitch. We're going to continue to tie, aren't we? Okay. No, what? I had it? Are you fucking serious? I had it? No, I didn't. I f oh my god. Motherfucker. I had it twice? I have to stop them though. Depends on priority. Now I have it. That guy sucks. Wait, oh, I can get more? Oh, now he's just handing it over. Wait, can I get a bunch of gold coins or is it just gonna total one? Now he's just handing it to me. <laughs> yeah, homie is throwing now. Skill based not drinking. <gasps> I just want to see how many coins I can get now. I don't know why I did that like that. Why did why did I not click there? Why did I not click there? I had that. Ooh, went against the snail five times. Look at that. Got an achievement. Motherfucker. Oh, I lost. Oh. Why wow, is this dumb as me? to draw. Alright, let's see if I actually have five. Oh, that 
That was very clever. Good for you. Yes, I'm good at this. Thank you for the coin, sir. It's very shiny. Bye. Okay, so I did only just get one. Okay, I'm glad I stopped when I did. Interesting. All right, what's going on here? Hey, old man. Good day, sir. Good day, little creature. I've seen flying boats, sir. How do they work? Think about them floating on water, but instead of water, it's air. It's so simple. Uh, can I borrow one of your boats to fly away? I, I want to go home. Oh, go home? I see. Sadly, these boats only work with Ithersnannies. Huh, I see. Well, thank you, sir. Have fun making your boat. Interesting. Woohoo. 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 All right, so we got to go this way now. And then we need to change the clock. It's a very odd clock. Where are the numbers? It has symbols and colors. Okay, so maybe... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I can ask for help. Okay, so the clock might be broken. Let's go up to the right. Oh, little... Hello! Good day, living creature. All good? Yes, I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm smelling the flower. Beautiful creation. Hmm. Are you waiting for somebody? I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? They're a bit sour for my taste. Now they're too sweet. But lemonade is yummy. Lemonade is what I, I'll do with the lemons for the customers at the bar, you know? And we put some other stuff inside too, so we can fly. Ooh. They getting high off lemonade. Fly? Wow, I would like to try that. It sounds great. Yeah, that's why I wait. You can't rush it. Hey, the bar opens in the fall and a very awesome dancer will perform. You should come and hang out. Maybe I will. It sounds fun. Thank you. Bye. Hmm. Okay. There's... What's going on here? I wonder what this is. Unfortunately, we can't read. It's a mountain. It must be the mountain Contrum. I mean, we can go check, I suppose, even though it's not changed yet. Okay. So this is... Oh. The mountain is very high is at the top yeah okay so doo -doo -doo. okay uh i can go to the right oh wow what are you you look like fa the fairies in my books the purest of th feelings the light of all material we are volokas those are the things we keep seeing wandering around um uh Edronco, thank you for the raid i appreciate that hello uh Oh, you're very shiny, and you make me feel so happy. So very happy. Look, creature, one of, you, one of the young Volokas is going to receive the shield. Ombakama, female, grow, ombak, gone. Oh my god. Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, fruit from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Huh? Where are you all going? We continue our paths to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir. Oh, miss. Hmm. Can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You're full of magic yourself. But I want to know things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light. We are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents, and why is that big monster hunting me? The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is immense. You are living in the world that turns its back on you. I feel like I'm reading a fortune cookie right now. You are too fragile to face the truth just now and too strong to let it go. Shit. But don't be sad, dear. We all have to keep going. Yes, kitty, you're right. Oh, what's that? Oh. Hey. It, it's moving. Cool. Are all the hands supposed to touch, maybe? Hmm. I feel like the hands are facing weird ways. Huh. Oh, what a huge Volokas. It's not real, though. Wonder what they use it for. Eh. Okay. So I guess we go back over here. 
And I guess we gotta go left. An empty basket. This broke on us. Oh, sounds like something's broken. We probably have to tell the clockmaker. I think we still have our knife. Oh, we never got to read this. I found myself hunting the truth from the finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that relays silently in the unknown. July 11th, 1908. My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects, and even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you are reading this, maybe it's because you are looking for answers, maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become one with everything. He's got the crying blood too. Hi Jonas, how you doing today? What's up? Franbo is basically Alice in Wonderland, but like way weirder, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> um, December 17th, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. Can you see? Oh shit, there's the thing. Cry because it hurts. December 19th, 1875. I had a vision. I still, I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Remor, Prince of Darkness from the fifth reality. Okay. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its, ex its existence. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom inside my head. Are we gonna have to crack our own skull open? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Oh man, this got morbid. January 13th, 1876. I can see myself around. The other me. Tell me tell me lies talk about all the pain and suffering in my life the other me wants me to commit suicide he smiles while pronouncing the words kill yourself and i have tried hypnotized by his words but there is always something saving me at the end it must be the love to live oh look at it look at this guy <laughs> he's he kind of looks like the axel all right there january 15th 1876 i meet a shadow for the first time it talked to me come on this okay their race is called the Kamalis. They hunt weakness and pain. I ask it to be the possession. I ask it about the possession of human bodies, and it said, "We are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end." Okay, so that's all those guys. That's what all the shadows are in the um, asylum. After that, it started raining and it walked away from me, leaving a black oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. January 16th, 1876. After seeing the Kamalas reacting to water, I thought of, of trying a little experiment. Last night, I encountered something amazing. The Kamalas transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. Oh, it's these guys. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like it, the pain was disappearing after a few minutes. A bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. It felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. If Thursta awaits, all Volokas must go there after waking up. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. I didn't answer. After a while, it faded. Okay. Jan February 2nd, 1876. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall Remor from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Ithursta may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Volokas invitation. Since I saw the Volokas, I, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. March 13th, 1876. I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things that I've seen, but he didn't want to hear and left. Uh, I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to mods of most of people. Um, I wish I could find a friend just like me because my son, he thinks I'm insane. July 25th, 1870, 
1876, my body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply our reality laws because there are not only laws, but also behaviors, chemical behaviors and natural laws. Without those behaviors, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground calm while dying. This is all over the place. November 11th, 1876. Last night after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside of it. The same spot, spot, same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. The bacteria seems to get rid of the unusual behaviors at any kind of living creature. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. Um, I cut my finger to test the liquid with the human tissue and it cured it after a few minutes, a few seconds. This bacteria may only may work as platelets and white blood cells with very high speed. November 22nd, 22nd, DCTH instead there, 1876. A dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house, big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Beings in Athursa are varied from roots to giant insects. There's several pages missing here after the cats. Are you noticing that? Like a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven pages missing. Okay, interesting. Um, language and uh, insects roots in the first of the reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and numerology. Oh, hey, we maybe we'll learn how know how to read after this. The great Volokas is the beginning of the first reality. Uh, Primeve light. The Volokas shield. The Volokas body is structured is quite different from ours. They are made of photons and sound waves. They're also both male and female. When the youngster re reaches age 299,792,459, they are crowned with the shield. God dang. Desire, creation of the great Volokas. King of Athirsta, second reality, life. Aw, so he's been here before. Like actually been here. Interesting. Silver, thanks for the gift. I appreciate it. Um, February 13th, 1877. Being in a thirst stuff feels like becoming what you can't understand on earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off the tree and the water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. Pandora, creation of the five realms of essential existence, F-R-E-E, -E, <laughs> resides in the human world, third reality, earth, Mars, and Jupiter. Consciousness, practice of will, um, oh, hey, 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 we've heard of this one before. Center CD, the, the end of vibration when both ends of opposites are the same degree, reside in third and fourth reality, death. Okay, interesting. So we're, we are a part of center CD. Mabuka is the end of light. Okay, so that's interest. okay. March 23rd. 1877 mother Ma mabuka is letting me go i've spent 15 years 15 days here in mabuka's den and i'm tired i don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me it f it's feels like love is everywhere and in in and every ev in everything i enjoy crying i enjoy laughing i enjoy being alive no date recorded i'm getting ready for the journey back home mabuka sent me to the endless limits of mabuka's den and i'm waiting for the lucifer luciferns I had to become friends with them or to be more precise, become one of them. Oh, okay. Um, Luciferns gather in, okay, that's like the hair tangled shit. They gather in filaments. Uh, that's why they look like they are growing hair and the big face is mostly for communication purposes and to scare their predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. October 2nd, 1878. Gravity collects particles to create new ones. It's a creative force with the creativity. Evolution is inevitable. Oh no, somebody ripped out the rest of the pages. Interesting. God damn. Hella lore. Hella fucking lore. God damn, son. Hey. Hey, you. Okay. We need to go tell the clockmaker that the clock's broke. Hey, man. Sir? I have a little problem. Yes, I don't have any. The big clock on the tree, it's broken. I can't make it work. Please help me. A broken clock? What a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you. I have to go home. I never fix a clock for nothing. Otherwise, my life's time goes to waste. What do you mean? 
I charge one big gold coin per clock. Time is gold, you know? Good thing I've got that. Look at that little tree girl going by. Here's your gold coin. Oh, yes, but you have to offer me the job first, all right? Do it and be polite. Um. Oh, sir, clockmaker, would you like to fix my clock? In exchange for this piece of gold and in the name of t uh, time, I beg of you, accept my offer. Of course, that was an incredible job offer. Very passionate. Great, let's go to the big clock and fix it. Here we go. Oh my God, look at him. <laughs> look at him walk, look at him walk. It's like a little turnip. <gasps> hmm, you are right, the clock is broken. You can fix it, right? Of course, just a second. Uh-oh. Oh. Hmm, uh, hmm. yes, hmm. Oh, there. What is it? It seems somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? I mean, somebody broke it. It's immoral. Breaking a defenseless clock. Ugh. Why would somebody break it? Kamalis, Winter, Mount Cotram, the stones. Many reasons, miss. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Kamalis, the evil darkness. They work for Remor, the terrible black. And the Kamalis are the only ones allowed into this land. The only evil we could have around here. It wouldn't surprise me. Remor wants the stones, but what I don't understand is for what purpose? Those stones are meaningless to him and his kingdom. And the stones are in the winter time. Is Remor a giant black monster with a goat mask? A dead goat mask? Yes, you know him? Yes, I think it's because of him that I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know. Oh, a human. Now I understand. I also need the stones. They're my way back home. I hope it's not too late. Aha! That is why you need to go to the winter time and go to Mount Cotram. Yes, exactly. I have to talk with the Great Wizard and borrow the stones. Hmm. Well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that will make it easy for you. Here. Okay. It's a remote control for the clock. Oh, goddamn. You'll be able to travel all four seasons just to, with a quick turn. But it's just a prototype, so it may not work if you're too far away. And remember, time is an infinitely layered reality, so be careful. I'll be careful. Thank you very much. You're a very nice clockmaker guy. <laughs> Please call me Cogwind. <laughs> all right, Mr. Cogwind. I'm Fran, by the way. See you soon. Bye. <gasps> the fact that NPCs talk like that is so humorous. I wish they did. I wish they talked. <laughs> all right, so I guess let's... Let's crank this clock hog. And now it's summer. Let's go see if he got the, the lemons. <gasps> he did. I recognize this kind of tree. Aunt Grace had one at home. Can we not talk to him? Sir, can I have one of your lemons? I'm sorry, lovely. Lemon resources are quite limited. I can't let you take them. I take all the lemons in the basket can carry. That means every lemon on that tree. Okay. Homie's gonna go make that funky lemonade. Oh, that's his tavern here. Good day, little lady. Can you show me your ticket, please? Uh, hello, sir. I don't have a ticket. How can I get one? What? All of those citizens get a ticket. Why don't you have yours? I lost. <clears throat> I think I lost it. But that's impossible. These tickets never get lost because they know where where you are. That's why they came to you, and that's why everyone has one. Sorry, but I can't let you in. All right, sir, I, I understand, but what can I do then? I would really like to go inside. I don't know, this has never happened before. Hmm, I guess I'll we'll have to go find my own way inside then. Thank you, bye. Maybe we can write on, shit. Maybe I can write on the ticket now? God damn it, come on, really? I can't, I can't put it on there? It looks like a little, it could be a little bug ID. Son of a bitch, look at him in the, oh wait, you can't see him. Look at him, he's cuddling near the little flowers. Can I use the ladder? No, okay. Uh, let's see if I can find an ID. I don't want to change the realm yet if I don't have to. Wait, can we use the boat? <gasps> okay, I don't know where we're going, but we're we're boating. Okay. Oh wow, this island is very tiny. I wish somebody could live there. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Oh, Fran, this is where we were before. I fixed the bridge to get your purse. Wow, Kitty, you're very clever. I hope we find many my things. Okay, so I can get my clothes back? <gasps> oh my god, I can't. Kitty, I can't find my pills. Maybe the pills aren't here. Maybe you lost them. Well, they weren't doing me any good anyways. Maybe they'll reappear someday. Let's keep going for now. Um, 
Yes, I found you, dear clothes. You can. I'm the only wearer. Can I put these on? I can't do that. Oh, okay. So I've just collected them, but I can't wear them. That must be the castle. Okay, so we'll have to come back here. Gotcha, gotcha. 